Hello everyone, uh, I'm Kaiwei Zhang at UCLA. Uh, today I would like to talk about our research work on augmented multilingual birth with syntax information for cross-lingual transfer. So this is a joint work led by Wasi Ahmed with uh, Howard Lee and Yasha Mahat uh, at Facebook. So in this paper, uh, we consider the setting of the zero shot cross-lingual transfer where we train a model on corpus in a source language such as English and directly apply the model to another language based on multilingual representations. So take question answering as an example. Uh, we build a question answering model by fine-tuning a multilingual text representation model such as a multilingual bird on English question answering peers where we have uh, abundant training data. Then we apply the model to questions and passage uh, in Spanish. Although the model is never trained on the Spanish data, as the underlying multilingual text encoder makes uh, English and the Spanish text into the same representation space, the model is capable to handle the Spanish data. So this setting has been found uh, very effective in many NLP applications uh, including text classifications, uh, question answering, uh, para uh, paraphrase detection, and it allows us uh, to uh, extend our current NLP model to the language with a low resource. However, one key challenge here is that uh, the word order in different languages are often different. So for example, the word sequence uh, in English uh, showing here is different from its translation uh, in Spanish. Therefore, although the question answering model can answer the English uh, questions uh, correctly, it gives a wrong answer uh, in Spanish uh, due to the confusion uh, caused by the word order different. As we do not have the data in the target language, we aim to learn uh, invariance representation across language uh, to help the cross lingual transfer. So our method is inspired by the fact that although the word order between languages are often different, their dependency parse tree uh, share some similar, similar structure. So for example, on the right hand on, on the left hand side, uh, this is an English sentence, and on the right hand side, it is a translation of this English sentence in Hindi. And the word in the same color has a similar uh, meaning. So as the English is a, a subject verb object a language, but the Hindi is a subject object verb a language, the word order are quite different. However, if you look at these two past three, they share uh, some similar structure here. So then uh, we perceive that uh, if we can augment in this uh, multilingual uh, text encoder with a uh, syntax information given by the dependency past three, then we are able to do better in the cross-lingual transfer. So we propose to use a graph attention network to encode the global information of the past tree to generate uh, the syntax representation. Then fuse this uh, syntax rep representation uh, into the self-attention layer in the multilingual uh, text encoder. So to generate uh, this uh, syntax representation, we do the following. So given uh, the uh, words and is a part of speech text embedding as an input, we first uh, fuse uh, information of each word with its uh, neighbor uh, in the past tree to generate uh, the representation of the next layer. So we do this uh, multiple wrong and then we can generate the representation of the entire past tree. Then we are going to uh, encode uh, this uh, syntax information uh, into the multilingual bird. So we use the following way uh, to uh, encode the information into this uh, transformer encoder. So on the left-hand side, uh, this is the standard formulation of a self-attention mechanism in the transformer. So HL minus one is a hidden representation from the last layer, and W is a weight matrices. And uh, in this way, we can compute uh, the self-attention weight and then I'll uh, use this uh, to generate the representation of the next layer. The M matrix here is a mask matrix, and it allows us to control, uh, to avoid the model to put attention uh, to some word that are far away uh, in the past tree. 
So our proposed idea is that uh, we can uh, augment uh, the representations from the graph attention network uh, into the computation of the attention weight. So specifically, uh, we introduced uh, two new parameter, uh, parameter matrix, GLQ and GLK, uh, to uh, tr transfer this uh, self-attention, uh, uh, to transfer this uh, representation from the graph attention network into the same space of a Q and K. And then we can augment uh, this uh, representation uh, to this uh, Q and K uh, in order to compute uh, the self-attention weight. So in this way, uh, we can uh, fuse the information uh, from the past tree to the computation of a self-attention weight in the transformer uh, encoder. So next, we are talking about uh, how to fine-tune the multilingual bird and to train this graph attention uh, network jointly on the downstream text uh, in the source language. So we use the following objective to train the model. So the first uh, term is a text loads uh, in the source language. And the second and the third terms are, are the auxiliary uh, uh, learning loads to help to train the graph attention network. So specifically for the second terms, we take uh, the syntax representation uh, from the graph attention network and to predict uh, the distance between two words uh, in the tree. In the third turn, uh, we take uh, the representation of the word uh, again in the graph attention network and to predict uh, the tree depth of the word uh, in the passing tree. And using these two turns will allow us uh, to encode uh, the past tree information uh, in the graph attention network better. And we propose to use uh, this uh, alpha as a hyperparameter uh, to balance uh, the loss term uh, for uh, the test and the loss terms that used to train the graph attention network. We conduct uh, experiments on uh, multiple uh, NLP tasks, uh, including the language inference tags, uh, paraphrase detections, name entity recognition, question answering, and semantic parsing. So collectively, uh, we consider a 17 language, and we always consider English as a source language. And then we uh, consider uh, to transfer uh, the model uh, to the other 16 uh, languages. So in the papers, uh, we compare uh, several models. But to simplify the presentation here, I show the result uh, with a baseline of multilingual birth and then propose a multilingual birth uh, augmented with uh, syntax information in the following uh, uh, experiments result. So first, let me show you uh, the results on the cross-lingual natural language inference. So we consider, again, the digital shot of transfer setting that we train the model uh, in uh, the, the NLI data in English, then uh, using uh, the multilingual bird or the multilingual bird with a syntax uh, information to uh, the other uh, 12 languages. So here is a result uh, on these uh, uh, 12 languages. So the light blue uh, bar is the result of the multilingual bird, and the dark blue one is the one uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, augmented with a uh, syntax information. So as you can see, uh, out of uh, 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 12 uh, language, uh, out of 12 uh, target language, uh, 10 of them, uh, the, mod the model with uh, syntax information improve over the baseline uh, statistically uh, significantly. The next, uh, here is a result of a cross lingual question answering uh, on the MLQA dataset. So again, we train uh, the model uh, in English uh, questions, uh, context passage, and the answer. And then we see if the model will be able uh, to uh, answer the questions in another six uh, languages. And we show that uh, out of uh, 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 these uh, six languages, uh, five of them, uh, the multilingual bird with a uh, syntax information, can outperform a uh, multilingual bird uh, statistically uh, significantly. So finally, uh, we consider a general uh, cross-lingual transfer setting, 
where the questions and the context of passage are in different language. So for example, uh, the column here, uh, sorry, the cell here uh, show the result where the question is in the Spanish and the context of passage in, is in the Arabic. And the number uh, in this uh, table show the performance difference uh, between the multilingual bird with uh, syntax information uh, uh, compared to uh, the multilingual bird result. So as you can see that uh, when uh, the question and the uh, context passage are in different language, uh, the proposed model is often outperform uh, the model, multilingual uh, bird model significantly. So we have uh, more results and analysis uh, in the paper, and due to the time constraints, uh, I will skip uh, those results here, and please uh, uh, go to our poster or read our paper uh, to see uh, more details. So in summary, uh, in this work, we showed that if we augmented a multilingual bird with a syntax using the graph attention network, then we can improve the cross-lingual transfer uh, significantly. And you can find our source code and the papers uh, uh, using this uh, QR code here. And thank you for your attention.